At first glance, the Javelin and Switchblade 600 may appear to be entirely different weapon systems. However, they have much in common. Both strike the enemy from the top hemisphere, the most vulnerable part of any armor. The Russian SA-15 Gauntlet Air Defense System, valued at $25 million, comes into the crosshairs of the Switchblade 600. The high-precision guidance system and powerful warhead, similar to that of the Javelin, strike the formidable Russian air defense missile system. Look at how the Russian armored vehicle successfully deployed the assault troops. Under the cover of armor, the soldiers disembark from the vehicle and spread out, preparing for the assault. Having completed its task, the armored vehicle turns around to retreat to a safe zone. However, its maneuver is observed by Ukrainian forces. The armored vehicle is blown to pieces. Take a closer look at how pieces of metal scatter across the field. The infantry was wiped out in close combat, and this is all that's left of the armored vehicle. This anti-tank missile system has demonstrated its ability to significantly reduce the effectiveness of Russian military equipment in combat. This armored vehicle was unfortunate enough to find itself in the crosshairs of a javelin. Watch as the infantry fighting vehicle is struck in direct attack mode. In this mode, the missile follows a low trajectory to maximize its effectiveness by targeting the side or frontal projections of the vehicle. Missile launch. Boom! A powerful explosion. The tank shatters into pieces, with its turret soaring dozens of meters into the air. The drone finishes off the vehicle. The enemy's burning metal is the price of their invasion. The Javelin is perfectly suited for small, mobile units, as its lightweight design and ease of operation allow for rapid deployment to necessary positions. This can be either open terrain or urban environments, where the operator takes cover and engages enemy vehicles from rooftops or windows. Its nighttime effectiveness is ensured by the built-in infrared guidance system. The Javelin is equipped with a thermal imaging site that detects the heat emitted by objects. This allows the operator to spot targets by their heat signature, even in complete darkness. Take a look at this successful nighttime operation with the Javelin, targeting and destroying a Russian armored vehicle column. The Javelin missile hits its target with pinpoint accuracy. Take a closer look. A drone captured footage of a Russian armored vehicle advancing to assault positions. From the Ukrainian side, a Javelin missile is launched. Its precision strike hits the target. The surviving infantrymen attempt to take cover, but their path is cut off by a drone. The Javelin plays a significant role due to its efficiency and versatility. Here comes the launched missile in top attack mode, hitting the target with pinpoint accuracy. The first vehicle in the column erupts in a bright explosion. A precise drone strike and a mine completely halt the column, leaving the enemy with no chance to advance. In this shot, a Javelin missile pierces its target like a spear. The armored vehicle's hull tears apart like a paper toy. So, what can the Russian army counter the Javelin with? Meet the AT-14 Spriggan anti-tank missile system. Unlike the Javelin, the Spriggan uses semi-automatic laser beam guidance. The operator has to keep the target in sight until the missile hits. On the plus side, the missile has a more powerful warhead and can penetrate dynamic armor. The Spriggan has a firing range of up to 10 kilometers during the day. The use of laser-guided guidance allows it to bypass thermal countermeasures, which are often used to defend against the Javelin. However, its vulnerability lies in the need for the operator to maintain target lock, which can expose the shooter to danger. The Javelin focuses on mobility and operator safety, while the Spriggan emphasizes range, versatility, and power.
Look at how the Russian armored transporter with soldiers on top is racing at full speed. But a mine lies in its path, an invisible threat, waiting for its victim. The javelin operator fires a missile at the second armored personnel carrier. Impact! The vehicle bursts into pieces. The movement of the third armored personnel carrier is suddenly interrupted by a powerful explosion. A mine went off, but it's not the end yet. The Ukrainian tank comes into play. It approaches the damaged armored vehicle and fires. A powerful explosion tears it apart. The soldiers, standing on a tree, launch a javelin missile straight at the tank. Cutting through the air, the precise strike hits its target. The armored vehicle, moving alongside the tank, continues its assault, but soon realizes it faces the same fate as the destroyed tank. Recognizing the threat, the crew makes a decision. Rescue, instead of attack. The armored vehicle quickly turns around, drives up to the damaged tank, picks up its crew, and hurriedly leaves the line of fire. But the Ukrainian fighters strive to give no chance for escape, chasing it down with a drone. For example, in this case, the enemy armored vehicle desperately tried to flee zigzagging across open fields. However, the Ukrainian drone relentlessly pursued its target. Finally, at a point of no escape, the drone reaches the armored vehicle. A Russian tank moves along the completely destroyed village. Its crew scans the empty streets, unaware that in one of the surviving houses, they are already in someone's crosshairs. The Ukrainian javelin operator carefully tracks the target. The tank, confident in its protection, becomes yet another victim of the relentless and precise work of the javelin. Another trap in one of the destroyed villages for Russian armored vehicles. Tanks and armored vehicles rush forward, trying to break through the defense, but the Ukrainian fighters are prepared. Drones appear in the sky like arrows, precisely targeting the enemy's equipment, leaving them no chance. Each such drone is not just a weapon, but a true combat unit that destroys any hope of a breakthrough in an instant. But the decisive blow is delivered by the javelin. The missile, with its characteristic whistle, strikes the enemy tank, tearing it apart and halting the advance. The Russian assault collapses under the force of Ukrainian technology and tactics. In this footage, which Russian sources claim shows the destruction of a Bradley armored vehicle, a shot aimed at the armor failed to penetrate it completely. And despite the powerful explosion, the armored vehicle remains operational. We can see that despite two powerful hits, the vehicle withstood the attack. and even the driver managed to successfully exit the vehicle. The Javelin outperforms the Spriggan in mobility, lightness, and versatility, making it ideal for highly maneuverable combat operations. The Javelin missile's top-down attack is a groundbreaking tactic for engaging modern armored vehicles, reducing the operator's vulnerability while significantly enhancing the effectiveness of target destruction. Here's another attacking tank becoming a target for a Ukrainian javelin operator. The missile is launched in direct attack mode and hurdles toward the target at incredible speed. Equally effective in the fight against Russian equipment are the Ukrainian drones. With a powerful explosion, they destroy enemy vehicles, leaving only debris and flames in their wake. The Russians are upgrading the Spriggan missiles and mounting them on armored vehicles. which enhances mobility and combat capabilities. The missiles are being updated to extend their range to 10 kilometers and improve the warheads. Additionally, several launchers on the vehicles 
allow for simultaneous attacks on multiple targets. However, the Javelin remains far more mobile and versatile as an anti-armor weapon. The fire and forget principle makes it easier to use and minimizes risks.